Hello and welcome to another session on system programming video lecture series and we are covering shell commands in Linux. In this session we are going to cover 12 most useful and advanced examples of cat command that can be used to create files. In this session we are going to have the details of all these 12 examples as well as I will run these examples by using the Linux machine. So let me turn on my Linux machine. First I will check what files and folders I have at the current directory and then we will go for the first example. I will use the ls command to see uh, list of the files and folders at my current location. So you can see right now I have several folders including one file named p1.txt. So the first example is if you want to read the content of any file by using cat command then simply use cat space file name and it will display its contents. So let's test it and try to see the contents of p1.txt. So I will use cat space p1.txt and enter and you can see the content of this file is testing file you can see over here. Second example is that if you want to create a new file and you want to add some content inside that file. So simply use cat space greater than sign and the file name. So I will use cat space greater than sign and I want to create p2.txt enter. Now the file has been created and it is open uh, and waiting for you to add some text or details inside the file. So let's write down a couple of lines inside this file. I will use this is test file. This file contains three lines and the file name is p2.txt. So I just added three simple lines inside the file and in order to close this file you have to press Ctrl D. Control D. Now you can see that you are back to the terminal and in order to check that this file has been created just use ls command and you will see a new file has been added with name p2.txt. In order to verify this uh, file that it has the contents you can use the first example that we covered uh, to read the text file. So use cat space p2.txt to read the content of this file and you can see this file has these details inside. The third example is if you want to modify this file and append some text inside the existing file then you have to use cat space double greater than sign and the file name. So let's try to modify the file p2.txt and add one more line at the end of the file. So you will use cat space double greater than sign and the file name p2.txt and right now it will not display the content of the file but it will just wait to enter the new things inside the file which will be appended at the end of the file. So I will use this is new line added by appending the file. And in order to close this file again you have to press Ctrl D and you are back to your terminal. Now in order to verify that this file has been uh, updated you can simply again use the first example cat space file name p2.txt and you will see a new text has been appended at the end of the file. Next example is if you want to display contents of multiple files by using single command then you have to use cat space first file name second file name third file name and so on. Right now I have two files as you can check at my current location p1.txt and p2.txt. So let's try to display the contents of both files by using single cat command. I will use cat space p1.txt space p2.txt and enter and you can see this testing file was part of the first file and the rest of the contents are actually file number two. So by this way you displayed the read only content of both files by using single command. The fifth example is if you want to display the contents of the file along with the line number then you have to pass the argument minus n and by this way for every line the line number will also be displayed. So let's test this example for p2.txt because it has multiple lines so I will use cat space minus n space p2.txt 
and right now it is displaying the content line by line along with the line number you can say line number one line number two and this is the uh, text at line number three so by this way you can display the contents line by line along with the line number the six number example of cat command is if you want to copy the contents of file one to a new file then we have to use cat space source file name uh, greater than sign the destination file name or the new file name where you want to move the content of that file so i will test it by using cat space and we have two files i will use p2.txt file the second file greater than sign and the new file where i want to copy the content so let's suppose we will give that file name p3.txt enter and now if you will use the ls you will see a new file with name p3.txt has been created and if you check the content of this file p3.txt it will be same so check it by using cat space p3.txt and you can see over here this p3.txt file contains the exactly same content as we were having in p2.txt as we copied the content we have some more examples in the next slide so let's test the, those examples also next example is if you want to append a file based on an existing file then you have to use cat space the file name from where you want to read the text and then double greater than sign and file name where you want to append uh, the text from another file so let's try this example right now i have three files at my current location and i will try to append the data of p1.txt to p3.txt so i will use cat space the file from where i want to read and p1.txt double greater than sign and where i want to append p3.txt enter now the command has been executed and try to check the content of the file p3.txt now the p3.txt need to contain the data or the text that was part of p1.txt which was uh, testing file at the end so let's test it use cat space p3.txt and you can see at the end uh, the content of p1 has been added in p3.txt now the next example is if you want to merge multiple files in a new file then you have to use cat space file 1 file 2 file 3 are up to as number of files that you want to merge greater than sign and the new file name so let's try to merge all three files p1.txt p2.txt p3.txt to a new file named p4.txt so i will use cat space p1.txt space p2.txt space p3.txt and the new file by adding the greater sign uh, sign p4.txt enter and command has been executed use ls to verify the new file has need to be created you can say p4.txt has been created over here and if you want to verify the content of p4.txt which need to contain the content of all three files you can use cat space p4.txt and you can see it contains actually the content of all three files next command is if you want to append uh, text from multiple files to an existing file then you have to use double greater than sign along with the file names and the destination file name so i will use cat space and the files from where i want to read the text and want to append that is let's suppose p1.txt space p2.txt so these files i will read uh, and i will try to append the text of these files to an existing file p4.txt and let's execute this command and you can see there is no issue and now let's try to read the content of this uh, p4.txt file i will use cat space p4.txt next example is that if you want to copy the content of a file to another new file uh, which is not located at the same destination then you have to add the absolute path or relative path according to the destination so for whatever the examples we tested we played with the existing current directory so let's try to copy the content of p3.txt from the current location uh, to a new file with name p6.txt that will be located inside the directory f2 so i will use cat space 
the file name from where I want to read the text that will be p3.text greater than sign and the new location where I want to copy the content along with the file name that location can be based on the absolute path or relative path right now I'm going to use relative path because it is at the folder f2 is located at the front location so I will use f2 slash the file name or new file name that will be p6 dot text enter there is no issue and now a new file need to be created inside folder f2 with name p6.txt if you want to verify use ls space f2 and you can see over here a new file has been added with name p6.txt and this file p6.txt need to contain the same text as we have in p3.txt at the current location if you want to verify it use cat space f2 slash p6.txt and enter and you can see this is the content we have right now inside p6.txt and if you want to verify what was inside p3.txt you can use cat space p3.txt and you can see inside the p3.txt the same data is there so that was the number nine example next example is that if you want to read a file and then you want to display dollar sign at the end of every line then you have to use minus e argument along with the command so let's test this example for this purpose we have to use cat space the argument minus e space file name that we are going to read let's suppose we are going to read p3.txt and enter and you can see over here a dollar sign has been added at the end of every line next example is that if you have a big file which contains thousands of lines and you want to read that file part by part then you have to use uh, more command along with the cat command by this way you will be able to read that file part by part and by pressing enter button you will be able to go more and more right now the files i created at my current location they are not very big they only have few number of lines of uh, text so i will go inside the glt folder where i have some files which are big enough that we can use that command to test it so i will go inside glt by using cd space glt and use ls to read the content of that location and you can see i have a file named license.txt and i will try to read this file license.txt by using the cat and more command and we will be able to see few lines uh, first and then by pressing the enter key we will be able to see more and more lines so let's test this example use cat space the file name that is license.txt and i have to use the bar space more command and if you will enter you can see like first a uh, few lines are displaying then press enter and it is adding more and more lines and if you want to close this file you can press ctrl z and you will be back to the terminal if you will simply use cat space file name the whole file will be displayed which will not might be readable so i can test that one also uh, cat space uh, license that text and you can see it right now it is displaying the last few lines because the file is very big clear the screen i will go back to my previous working directory by using cd space dot dot and i have these files at the current directory last example is that if you want to read a file and you want to display the content of that file based on the tab separated then you have to use minus t argument along with the command so let's test this example also uh, for the file p3.txt i will use cat space minus t e need to be capital and the file name that is p3.txt uh, and enter and right now it is displaying the content of that file but at the end it is actually adding tab space that's it for this video if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section of this video and don't forget to share this video thank you